What have we got ourselves into? What's going on, everybody? Mark Miller, Winsco Land Clearing. I am in the garage today, trying to figure out how to get this uh, tire out of the mulcher head. I've gotten a lot of stuff stuck in this thing before. Uh, this one takes the cake, though. It is a 11R24 and a half. It's a semi-truck tire. So I was out mulching, and this was like before we did the little house clearing and grubbing job. And um, I was climbing up a dirt hill, which was actually a trash pile hill. And the mulcher head literally just sucked this tire up out of that pile. Luckily, it didn't have a rim in it because it probably would have damaged some teeth pretty bad. But actually, I kind of wish it had a rim in it because then it probably wouldn't have got sucked up in the thing as bad. And it just would have broke a tooth. And I could have swapped it out and been done with it. But this one does not want to come out. And uh, normally when I get stuff like this stuck in there, I can roll the, the drum like on a tree that I know I'm going to take down. So I'll like scrape it on a tree and drag it down and it'll reverse the drum and it'll just push the tire out. But this one's pretty bad. So, but anyway, so I'm having to cut this thing out with a sawzall and it is just ugly. And that's where I scraped a tree and the other half of the tire is sticking outside the drum up there. So it's pretty bad. I'm actually like starting right here and I'm just like cutting my way all the way down. This is a pretty good one. It's probably gonna take me, uh, I don't know, probably gonna take about two, three hours to get it cut out. And I've just kind of been putting it off till the weekend cause I've been avoiding it and uh, it needs to come out now. So the bad part is like, I would say a third of the tire is sticking out of the bottom of the mulcher a third of the tire is in the mulcher, really tight, like squished flat in between the drum and the, the liner. And then the other third of the tire is sticking out of the top of the mulcher, fluffed out. So it's just like, it's pushed out there so bad at the top and the bottom, it can't spin. So we got some work to do. And I think I already need a new Sawzall blade and I've only cut probably about five or six inches. So, but anyway, I wonder if I could flip the camera. This way, I don't think I could set it up there. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna get back to cutting. Just wanna show you guys what I'm doing. It could be worse. I guess the drum could have completely fell off of the machine and then went flying down the interstate. These things spin pretty fast. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully I'll come back in a few in the machine mulching. That's the goal. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. <laughs> do, 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 do. Two chains, one tire, one tree. Well, that wasn't so bad. Um, so I cut the top chunk of the tire out of the mulcher head, which is a pretty big chunk, probably about a quarter of the tire. And then I came back here, hooked the, the chain to the tree, but like wrapped the chain up around in the drum, hooked it around a tooth holder. So that way when I'd pull, it would reverse the drum. And I had to pull it probably about five or six times and it finally popped out. It looks pretty good. So I hope I don't do that again. Oof. That's a lot of tire right there. I've done little car tires and truck tires and stuff like that, but um, a semi truck tire. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go to the gym now, work out and call it a day. I'm gonna have a weekend now. It's been fun. Good way to start the weekend. Out here in my woods, doing some clearing. Uh, let's see here, I'll show you guys something real quick. Before I get off this thing so I'm on like the back left side of my property uh, we moved out here to Spartanburg and got like 13 acres now and um, so every once in a while on the weekends I'll come back here and do a little bit of clearing and make some trails and stuff we got like I think 10 of the acres are wooded so but anyway that's a 
that's a property marker like right there so that's like where the woods start um so the the clear part of the property up there is like uh about three acres and then when you come back here to the woods that's the one side of my property and then it goes kind of like right back there behind the cat in a straight line and then it fans all the way over to the other side of the property right there on the other side of the house and then it goes like way back that way so it's kind of like a huge like baseball field shape sort of and the back line of my property is a uh it's like a right away like a sewer right away so that's kind of like the back edge of my property but it's like way back that way it's probably almost a thousand feet or something so but anyway kind of made a mess right here trying to get this thing unstuck i had it all nice and pretty but that's a big dead log right there um but anyway yeah just kind of getting it opened up making some trails trying to make it safer for the kids out here to ride in they like to come out here on the weekends and ride four-wheelers and stuff and sometimes we have family over and ride four-wheelers and just have a good old time and i'm just trying to make it safer back here too because there's a lot of stuff like um like that tree right there in front of me that's a poplar tree probably i don't know like a 10 inch diameter it's probably 25 feet tall and the top of it's broke off and the entire tree's dead and if a kid hit that with a four-wheeler it'd probably fall over and you know hurt somebody so that's why i'm out here just trying to get some of this stuff cleaned up make it safer out here so but anyway i love what i do so much i actually enjoy doing this as a hobby how many people can say that but anyway I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have a good weekend and we'll be back at it Monday. Have a good one.